Welcome to Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom podcast. My name is Mumpulu Kiluruma Mohobe. Our objective is to enthuse, inspire, energize, and empower entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of all stripes here in BW and beyond. We do so by inviting these entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs into our makeshift studio. Sometimes we call them to the restaurant, sometimes we go uh, to our studio and we ask them to share their experiential knowledge, their experiences and their expertise. And we ask them uh, as many questions as we can aimed at empowering you also as a viewer. Hello dear viewer, dear listener, welcome to yet another episode of Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom podcast. I'm delighted and excited to uh, join you this time around with Botswana's uh, top, top celebrity and musician. And I'm, sh I'm sure when I say ATI, I don't need to introduce any further than that. But um, as is our custom, over to you ATI, introduce yourself. Uh, we're going to talk about your background and everything like that. But I think the good starting point is to share who you are and, and a little bit about your background. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's the first time I've ever been in such a uh, robust kind of like bureaucratic uh, setup. But <laughs> I am I am very much delighted to be a part of uh, the show. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you know, thank you so much for having me. Tell me about yourself in terms of your training, your background, yeah, so that people know we have we, ha we 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 have quite a bit of an audience these days. We, we have to assume that it's an international audience. How would you introduce yourself? Well, basically, uh, I started off, you know, with, uh, with, 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 with life just like any other child. Mm. You know, primary school uh, in Molepolole, mm -hmm. uh, Shepherd English Medium School. That's where I started, basically. Mm. Uh, at the time, the principal was Mrs. Mary Weather. She had a black child. Mm. And I used to ask her, why do you have a black child as a white woman? Mm. And I've always been that kind of curious and um, kind of like wanting to understand the mechanism behind why things moved, mm. basically, in life in general. And then I came to Haburun when my mother got uh, a job as a teacher, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as a teacher, an education officer mm -hmm. in BTV. She's one of the, the, the few people who are part of that consortium mm -hmm. in Isimula with BTV, the mm -hmm. education sector, yes. what you now call now TV. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in TV that much. I used to go to work with her, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be on the computer, try to open up um, email, you know. I was so excited to have my own email address at the time. Mm -hmm. and. I was schooling at Tiamo Primary School now this time around because um, she couldn't afford to get me in, in private school yes. any longer. But, you know, even then, you know, I was still inquisitive, went to Nanogang, mm -hmm. and then I further moved on to St. Joseph's. Mm -hmm. But on the sideline of all this, I was also partaking in, you know, talent shows whenever I, I had time. Mm -hmm. And I would squeeze it in between school and so forth like that. So from there on, I um, went to University of Botswana. I was doing public administration and uh, environmental science. It was a it was a stupid combination, so they <laughs> said. You know what I'm saying? But as I went on along and on the sideline, as I was pursuing what I loved the most, what, mm -hmm. which was music, you know, I, I got to understand life in a broader kind of sense. As mm. I learned more of my music, the more I learned more of myself. And yes. The more I learned more of myself, it's kind of like where I became a bit more what people would refer to as rebellious. Mm. And I decided to drop out of school. Mm. I dropped out, I think, three years before my mother found out, you know. and uh, Before I she found out? Yeah. Mm. I mean, because the whole reason why I even went to varsity was because of her expectations and mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, the way we are brought up is is like, most of the time, the, the, the family setting of how we are, we are brought up, the, the emotional part of it is like we own up and we take the responsibility of our parents' emotional, mm. you know, completion. Yes. We tell her, you know, and you know, <laughs> yeah, so I know that. You can yeah. imagine the burden of carrying, you know, yeah, can the, relate. Yeah. the responsibility of your parents' happiness yeah. on your back. So I decided to just break that chain and just followed my heart it was a four-year course i presume at what yeah. stage did you drop out well i i failed and discontinued at uh, third year and then i went back and then i think a week into school i i then just decided to never okay. come back All right. yeah i dropped out of third year school you know and i felt like i needed i need i didn't need any plan b because where i had to go i had to i had to really give it all i have mm. like i had to had to go towards it like nobody's business but not too 
too careful to not want to expand and also try yeah. to learn myself or break things down apart to start foundations again you know what i'm saying because you can only imagine if you if you're a high school i mean a university dropout and you only have this thing they call music and you've heard so many theories of how you know creativity mm. stops flowing once you're yeah. beyond 25 and you know so you are in in good company because i hear bill gates and you know richard branson and many others <laughs> uh, dropped out of college so you're in very good company <laughs> well, I, I think the 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 advantage of of, of, of having nothing to fall back on uh, really activates core muscle, and you know it it, it s you know you find yourself using parts of yourself you wouldn't necessarily use mm. had you been in a comfort zone. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm. And more especially when you're going through so much thrust and oppression mm. or, or opposition, because what you're doing is 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 different. So mm. whatever you say is going to be questionable. Mm. Uh, the integrity of it, as well as the 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 methodology of it. Yeah. yeah. Let's deal with ATI itself, the name. Yes. Um, how did it come about? Well, the name ATI just came about. Uh, my name is Atlasaone. Mm. You know, I was just lazy to look into any other name, but I just fell on RT because mm. Lina Lame when it's when it's a brief like when my nickname it's is Ati. Oh people who know me call up Ashi. Mm, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's where it came from. So I, I, I decided to break it out into three words. It's A T T I E, but mm -hmm. it's broken down to A T I. Mm -hmm. So in terms of genre where which genre would you say you are in? Or do you even have a genre? How do you classify your category of music? You know, when it comes to uh, kind of like categorizing myself or people categorizing me, we always have a hard time in where to put me. As well as, you know, whether I'm a good person or a bad person, people <laughs> usually find it difficult. But, you know, with me and music, I I, I, I like to say if there was a genre, I'd, I'd, I'd literally be be under the the general of, of vibration mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because even the way I, I i interpret music is quite differently from how i've noticed even in the studio from mm. my colleagues mm. it's kind of different from what i've been inspired by to do music you know what i'm saying so mm. it's kind of like difficult for me to even categorize myself because mm -hmm. when i hear it it's like a brand new experience all in all together yeah what does the world categorize you at I mean, not yourself. I mean, for instance, radio stations, when yeah. they play you, they say, what kind of music is this? Well, I mean, most of the time when I, when I, when I release music, it, 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 it like takes precedence. Mm. So it's usually whatever, whatever similarity of whatever mm. song that people would have liked at that moment in time. That's like, li maybe close to maybe R&B or hip hop, whatever, mm. wh whatever, whatever. How do you? It's just. Tick, tick. How do you dick? I use it's it. like inspiration, whatever yeah. you're inspired Inspir to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I, I go with the flow, I'm water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are like water. Sounds like something Bruce Lee said once. Yeah, be I heard like him water. say that one day. Yeah, yeah. that be like water. Now, you mentioned going with your mother to the studio or wherever she was working, and then you mentioned music. How did it, uh, how did you go from there? What, 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 um, what enticed you into music? What, what drew you into music? Well, basically, when I started living with my mom, you know, it was a different environment. You know, it's in Pakalani and Pakalani, but people don't come out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, for the first time, there's a new reality mm. and I have to either go crazy or, or, or cope with it somehow. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I've really literally been observing from a, from, from a very tender age. You know what mm. I'm saying? So I understand things in a, in a more... It, on a tissue level, mm -hmm. you know. So what I would usually do is I'd try to write books. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd read. I, I read a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm one person who used to be very addicted to, to just anything I could get my hands on, mm. as well as sculpturing. You know what I'm saying? As well as uh, a whole lot of hand hand art. Mm. You know. So that's 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 the thing that kind of like kept me going. Mm -hmm. And then. I kind of like fell in love with music, but I couldn't sing at home because my mother didn't like, I was just kept away from music. She didn't like, I mean, she felt like I played the radio. Mm. I, like where I come from, the radio wasn't easily accessible as other people find mm. radios mm -hmm. accessible in their homes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the sugar that would be locked in the, in the cupboard, mm. you know, for me. Because she wanted you to focus on school. 
Well, yeah, but so she was restricting your access to music, was she? Yes, I mean, in in, in all good intent, I I do like to believe, you know. But what it did for me was it actually broadened my scope of music because now I'm not only in a position to be imaginative, mm. I'm able to even maybe understand rhythmic patterns in a way that a lot of people who who have access to to, to sound equipment wouldn't necessarily get the chance yeah. of ever growing into. I get excited when you talk about imaginativeness because it makes me think of Kirin Kirin Korong Korong. Yeah. Which to me, when I was driving down, coming to work some years ago when I first had it, I just said, this is, this is, a, this is an unusual experience, but it's brilliant. Yeah. How that, I think that's a classic example of how you think and how it works. Um, could you just take us through the journey of Kirin Kirin Korong Korong? Well, basically, you know, I have my ups and downs. Like, I've, I always have what, what, what I like to call as <coughs> uh, different wheels of fortune. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, seasons. I have seasons where I'm prosperous and I haven't learned certain lessons in as far as, you know, I think maybe, maybe I'm advancing because here yeah, I am on, a, on an entrepreneurship podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Initially, my financial literacy wasn't as... As, as 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 pious to where I think it's going now because mm. initially what I did I studied mostly um, sound the the scientific part of sound mm. uh, alpha wave alpha waves be beta waves and just the deep dynamics of frequency mm. as far as what kind of frequencies what kind of keys what kind of what kind of this and that's that you when you pronounce can actually hypnotize a mind and create some level of healing so mm. for the past two years around 2015 and 2016 i spent just most of my time on my own just learning waves waves and sound you know what i'm saying the only thing i did was just engage in in sexual intercourse whenever i had my partner <laughs> you, you know whoever partner would be available to come and visit me to keep me going yes. while i while, while i did my 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 scientific <laughs> crazy expedition of trying to understand sound on a deeper level yes you know so and then in 2017 just uh two days before i dropped the album Mm. Uh, Kirin Koran just came to my mind like mm. all of this knowledge that I had been consuming mm. just popped up to, to the surface in, mm. in the form of a song and I recorded that song in a day and the following day we took pictures and it was out mm. and then the following week I was making thousands mm. yeah. I, I like that song because it, it, it's got melody it's got um, hip hop it's got you know a bit of rap yeah. and then of course it's got that addictive uh, addictive, irresistible, repetitive sound, and yeah. it's got all the key elements. I want you to say a little bit more about me about it because it got me immediately, and I don't know how it got me. And I said to myself, "What does Kirin Kirin Korong Korong mean?" Yeah. And to talk a little bit about that song because, from from from, from a creative point of view, yeah. it it is it's brilliant. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think a lot of things had aligned because, you know, in as much as I, I, I say, you know, I called somebody, I would call people in to come and visit me for, 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 for escorting. For, for creative inspiration. For creative inspiration. <laughs> uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, you know, sometimes when you hold back, like when you hold back, like literally not interact, or even in creative inspiration like that, yeah. um, you get to kind of like, store up energy that 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 helps you focus and channel mm. in such a way that everything aligns because even even moshe the guy mm. from tamara who actually made the instrumental mm. it was just out of the blue he made this 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 instrumental and it just see because kirun Korong wasn't actually made over instrumentals mm. it was just a song that i i, I used to sing a cappella mm. like most of my creation is done in uh, amidst nothingness you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying mm -hmm. so when it gets to that uh, technical part of bringing it together with 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 the background music mm. it's like something that has always been occurring mm. right from inception through you know some invisible hand yes yeah it's wonderful that's wonderful now um, let's talk about black economic empowerment yes. what does it mean to you and why are you seen by some as an activist for black economic empowerment or indigenous economic empowerment Others, of course, see you as the opposite, but yeah. I think that's normal to be seen in different ways by different people. Well, inherently, I think um, it just so happened that I, 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 I'm expressive, you know, and sometimes when you're cornered, mm. whether you like it or not, whether you, you'd like to keep the peace or not, you cannot. 
you cannot just remain silent, but only just to burst out. And the burst out means uh, a clear indication of, of having to just keep quiet and never talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because um, in as much as people might have def by default called me a black empowerment, I think, you know what I think? Activist. A black activist. A it's black empowerment activist. A black empowerment activist. Mm. I think most of it would be described as I change my life and people see me, my life, turning around. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I think it also goes back down to understanding that we're not up against, you know, people here. We're fighting structures that have been put in place years and years before my grandparents were even born and these are structures that are still purging themselves out by default you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying because mm -hmm. a change is ushering itself in and change doesn't ask doesn't knock mm -hmm. it happens and mm -hmm. it only takes that one person who would have uh i'd like to say maybe coincidentally been had enough to the brim to a point whereby when they speak Mm. It creates a chain reaction and a dynamo, a dynamo effect of of people having to come out and say, you know what, I think I've had about enough, and I think we can have a, a much it, better. Was this uh, triggered by by the lockdown or by COVID, your activity? Because a lot of people saw it during that first lockdown, the, the big one. Well, I think for me, the reason why I was triggered was because I I felt like if 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 the world is going to come to an end, then the last great thing that I would love to do is just to speak the truth of what people have accustomed themselves to live with in their lives. And I actually, and, and after that, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a paradigm shift just instantly occurred. I couldn't go back to the places I used to go to. Even now, if, I can't relate to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even entertain conversations that have no substance, mm -hmm. you know? And I learned also that, you know, in as much as I might think the world is chaotic, it's a vibration thing. The places and people and things that I used to go to are a mere reflection of where my level of thinking and the capacity of where, where, where my self-worth aligns mm. with you know what i'm saying that's mm. why there's so many people here in Haborone and you'd never see them but mm. it's not like they're not alive mm. they are just moving differently mm. Mm. you know so but what was your basic message what did you want to communicate to Botswana at the time and is that the still the same message that you want to communicate now on on, e on economic empowerment if, if you had to simplify it for us uh basically uh w what i just wanted to just reiterate was the fact that you know the policies that are put in place need to be followed up so that you know at least in even if we can't do it all the way at least what needs to be done is to f to be followed up so that those that are willing to yeah, stand but up what specifically like policies that can empower local people mm. need to be followed up so that those that have the strength and the willingness to try to be advantaged, you know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. In as much as even our education system, it needs to change because the re reason why people um, think in a certain way is because of our education system. It's a grading system. Mm. It doesn't empower what you're good at. Mm. You know, mm. I mean, how many people have the strength to to literally go out and set out to be their own teachers, like myself? Mm. You know. And did anything come out of your efforts, or is it still an ongoing struggle? Well, I mean, uh, I might have done it in the collective intent of the good that it would bring out. Mm. But everybody has to pick up their own weight. Like, I, I'm changing my life. I'm, I'm battling with, with, with personal issues that also need my, my attention. And I've also understood that, you know, in as much as if you find yourself having to maybe overexert yourself, then maybe it's, it's communicating something to you about mm. yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That maybe, you know, you have a couple of things you need to work on. So you, for you, you to withdrew be a little bit. You withdrew a little bit. To Is focus on myself because, yes. I mean, I need to be, I need to be, I need to be a complete, a completely functional package mm. for me to even offer any assistance to anybody. Yes, that's yeah. true. Um, I believe that part of your experience included jail time. Tell us about that. Did you learn anything from that experience? Well, I mean, I, I don't even think I was in it because I'm able to disengage. I'm able to just leave this, this, this plane and mm. just leave a body behind, you know. And that's how I cope, mm. you know what I'm saying? I can just literally disengage and just leave like behind. Transcend. Like transcend? Yeah. Like you meditate and go above the body. Is that what you mean? Well, yeah, I, I, I meditate a lot, you know. Mm. So that's why when I get into certain situations that would scare somebody, I wouldn't necessarily be there. Mm. I would just let the information that's in my body, the, the wisdom that I've acquired through 
you know, the different material that I read just take over in as far as even anything that I've heard along the lines of what would be required to be a response, I just seem to remember it and just speak it out. Mm. So what was the charge and how did you, how did, what was the outcome? Well, the charge was, uh, initially the charge was having, having gone to the state house and uh, taking a video there, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I got arrested and then people just really the, brought themselves together to come and oppose what the government was doing. Mm. And I think you one... Got, you got some of the best lawyers, by the way. Well, <laughs> the sympathy of the best lawyers, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Um, and then I was released and then again in, in November, you know, we I went to Parliament mm. without my shirt on, mm. you know, and then I tried to get in there mm -hmm. and then they took me to Ramuza and then I was accused of of, 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 of drugs mm. and then they s they, 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 s they put together a, a court session at midnight and you know I, I, I don't know whether they, they, they consider me a threat or whatever mm. or they I, I, midnight I, I, yeah, yeah, more yeah. or less like Jesus was was dealt with in the middle middle of the <laughs> night. Dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> is is that in a similar way? Well, some, I mean, some yeah. kind of kangaroo court at night. Yeah, it was something like that, you know. And I I wasn't I wasn't really I I wasn't even present. Mm. Like I wasn't there. Mm. You know, just my body was there, and it w you know all of this was happening to it because you know like where. This is what happens with me when I get into certain situations that fight or flight. Like I, I calm down and I, 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 I operate smoothly. Mm. I, I find, I find myself to be, at, you know, like at at at, at, at what do you call when yeah. when when you're like sailing smoothly? And you remind me of something that Bill Clinton said when he was having the Lewinsky scandal the situation. Okay, and the, the reporters were asking him how he copes. And he admitted, he said that he, he has a, a strategy to compartmentalize things in his mind. He just puts things in a, in a shelf. He is able to attend to other things and put this one aside. So it's a process of compartmentalization. Uh, you know, you, you think that this man is under pressure, he's burning. But him, he's just worked it out. Look, I've put this problem there and yeah. address it like a project, you know? Yeah, that, that's what happens. And I think, you know, when you allow that, 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 that that process to to occur for you mm. because we 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 we, we overexert ourselves in trying to solve things, mm. you know, and we are not solutions because you're trying to solve the the solution with the same energy that you caused it. Yeah, okay. One of the questions that that um, you know when we are prepping, we think we should ask you is on the positive side. Yes. What should a Motswana do? An average Motswana entrepreneur, an average Motswana who feels hard done by by the system. What should they do to improve? conditions in their own country i mean we need to understand that we might not re be responsible for the way in which we've been conditioned but by the mere fact that we have desires and and uh, aspirations we need to take the accountability of deconstructing the, the the way that we think into the kind of mindset that can actually take us there i mean for example i struggle with drugs and i i didn't blame you that used to struggle with drugs. i still do even sometimes you know oh. and that's the reality of it mm. you know but i don't give up and say I'm all done for. I'm a victim of, of my circumstance. I still tell myself whenever whenever I I I I, I, ha I have a setback, I tell myself I'm gonna do it again until I get it. Because mm. even the greatest people that can that can that can that can literally move and inspire other people are people who need to have gone through that crushing mm. to one day say, I know what I'm talking about. Don't try me. Yeah, mm. basically. Okay, I've noticed in your career that you've often partnered with corporates there was a time when every time choppies opened a store they asked you to come and entertain for them and um, how did you work that out those partnerships and what can you advise other entertainers or even other entrepreneurs to partner with corporates uh, any advice there well basically i it might sound crazy but you know there's what we call astrology you know the the, the energies of of the world mm. like uh, i'm one person who understands uh, energy to 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 a T, mm. you know. So knowing your your astrological chart can actually tell you what kind of 
planets influence the energies. Mars represents, you know, action, masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Venus represents feminine energy, you know, um, that love energy, you know. So when you understand when these transits are taking place, is the time that you can take actually advantage of anything. Mm. That's why sometimes when I act, I know that the planetary alignments allow me to do that. Even, well, e even in a, it's so crazy how understanding how the planets work can actually save one from unnecessary exertion of, of, of energy. So what I can advise people to do is learn more about yourself through numerology your life path because the information is all in our in in our birth dates mm -hmm. you know that's why they say the, the the moon controls the tides in the ocean you know oh. what i'm saying mm -hmm. so when you talk about the ocean you're talking about emotions you know so when the moon is up there people are usually emotional people want to go back to what they feel safe in and comfortable in that's why you have maybe your ex-lovers and and people from your past call you end of the month mm -hmm. but we're being confused by the maybe fact they're that they're looking for your salary yeah we're them. being confused by the fact that it's salary but mm -hmm. me, <laughs> but but in Mehala, me it's like every end of the month people from the past only mm -hmm. it's what we call a retrograde mm -hmm. you know so retrogrades are about bringing back the things that we haven't dealt with mm. to deal with them you know mm. what i'm saying that's why a lot of people are emotional at the end of the month that's why people want to drink so much at the end of the month yeah and then in the middle of the month is when the energies are calmer mm. you know what i'm saying wait the energy at the end of the month is so much that women get into a menstrual cycle wow yeah this is so so interesting what does it got to do with choppies <laughs> well what, what it does have to do with choppies is mm -hmm. you know it's usually best to act mm. when people aren't doing anything you know what i'm saying mm. that's why today People think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a hard-working artist, but the way in which I move... Well, we know you are. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I don't burn out because I understand these, these aspects. Mm. So when people aren't, aren't active, mm. that's like more energy for mm. myself, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to people wanting people to be up mm -hmm. so that they, they, they're like, you know, hide themselves within a crowd. But when you stand out on your own, there's so much energy that you can access. Mm. Yeah. This is very, very interesting. So even with, with a partnership with corporates, you are able to sense when yeah. is the right time to approach them. Yes. And, and, and you've been able to get into partnerships with them. Yes. Basically, you need to understand that corporates are just looking for what people want. They just want numbers, you mm -hmm. know. But also at the same time, all they want is a structure behind the partnership that they embark upon with. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But also... What they're also intrigued and moved by is a business that can die and come back bigger than it was. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's basically the concept of 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 being able to burn to ashes to to come back again because every business would love rise to like a yeah. rise like a phoenix. Yeah, from yeah the people ashes. would love to have afterlives. You know, and mm. I've had so many so many past lives within my journey, mm. you know, and I still you know bringing myself reinvention is like yeah. a, a thing that I'm now accustomed into. Yeah. And what would you say was the biggest setback? I mean, apart because the, the prison thing for you wasn't a big deal. Yeah. What was the, the biggest setback in your journey as you were traversing to get where you are? I think the biggest setback was knowing what relationships to, to, to choose. Because the relation, if, you, if you're not good at, 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 at asserting or, or filtering relationships, you're going to have people who are going to take you down the path of drugs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because... You need to understand that we, we 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 step into this world trying to find a place to just be accepted. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And when you're looking for a place of acceptance, there's no telling what you you will find yourself engaging in. You know what I'm saying? Because we all come bearing the gifts of 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 whatever we we've been we, we've been vested with. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have a place of belonging. Or especially when your calling is that great mm. you know you go through these challenges of of having to understand relationships so my biggest setback was not understanding what relationships are what good relationships are so i found myself having to be loyal to a fault for so many years only to wake up to also embrace and forgive myself to mm -hmm. now change and move towards a better direction did it lead to betrayal well Where i mean people betray you as a result I used to I used to feel like I'm being betrayed mm. but until I actually understood my involvement in the matter because people can only meet you as far as you meet yourself. So even where somebody steps you in the back you have a role in creating that environment. Yeah. So the challenge if I understand you correctly is to understand your input which led to that situation. Yes. Okay. Because nobody can ever do that because you need to let your walls down for somebody to do that. Mm. So when you understand who to let your walls down 
for and understanding people's roles in your life mm. uh, i actually study a lot of td jakes as well I, I i consume a lot of information he talks about three different kind of people mm. there are people who are there for the moment there are people who are there to take you somewhere you need to go and there are people if you become lucky enough that people who you can call your ride or die mm. yeah this is very very interesting to me so without mentioning specific names how do you feel you've been betrayed without going to details I, what happened did somebody yeah. run off with your money or what <laughs> well yeah i mean um you know I, I i've always been just you know blessed enough to also just be successful at everything i do mm. you know um in 2014 i got into a brawl over let me just say when i started i didn't have the money to start off my career mm. i borrowed some money from somebody and then i got involved with the person mm. you know uh and i couldn't i couldn't reject their advances and i had to also nip that part about my life and restructure my life again mm. i had to now and then i, I started a, a, another adventure into you know doing an event in Soroya where they stole all the money and then i kidnapped somebody i failed i was yeah, you years. did you kidnapped someone yeah why <laughs> Well, I mean, they, they took my money and I went to the cops and the cops were, were dragging their feet. Nobody cared about it. And then I was facing 15 years and then I, I was supposed to pay the person that I had kidnapped 50,000. And then from there on, I, I got into a, a wormhole, a, a black hole, a rabbit hole of drugs, mm. you know. And then from there, uh, I, I, just, I, just, I just became clumsy. I just let myself go. Mm. You know, I got into toxic relationships that were in the in the in the shadow in the closet mm. and it was like crazy chaotic you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and all this time i can't even divorce this information because i'm also going through a spiritual awakening mm. and i don't know if i'm crazy if i'm going crazy or not you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and media is like all over me mm. it, everybody's talking on the side way and i i don't want to come out and say anything mm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so, so you i felt betrayed careful. that way mm. yeah so i felt betrayed that way mm. and then i was like but how could i just come into this world and just feel so powerless and mm. then I, I came across something that 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 went like taking your power back mm. that people can only move you or, or or affect you if you permit them if you permit them and what am I attached to mm. and then when I wrote a list of all the things that I, I I was attached to I wrote all the people I didn't even know how many how many people I was involved with mm. I had a long list of people I was involved in with, with without even noticing mm. and I was like I'm not even a player I'm not even a an F boy, mm. but how do I have such a list of, of people that I've been involved with? Mm. This is all the energies that I'm connected with, you mm. know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I've been unaware, unaware of myself. Mm. And then I look at my spending habits and I'm like, I'm not even spending, I'm just, I'm just pouring money out, you mm. know? Mm. Uh, there's no financial literacy i don't know what money is you know mm, mm. because for me it's always been about access mm. you know i need i need here now you know what i'm saying mm. and i found that i was i had so many vices and i was so cool dependent on just distracting myself to a point whereby the fact or the reason why i actually went to work mm. was just was just so that i could have money just so that i could just get rid of me sitting myself down and just being alone mm. you know what i'm saying and i was living at a hotel by the way a hotel that i spent about fifteen thousand bucks per month it's ridiculous and i would and i and there was i had that option of paying fifty thousand a month or i could pay one thousand well i mean 800 every day and mm. that's i chose the 800 bucks mm. path because it didn't seem like i'm spending a lot of money mm. you know what i'm saying and it got so bad to a point whereby I couldn't even afford to pay that. Mm. You know, I was emotionally broken down to a point I couldn't come out the hotel room because mm. my confidence had taken a knock. A knock. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you know, I'd call in the producers to come into the room and continue making the music. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because for me, it was like go crazy or just purge it out mm. through through the music. And then 2019, it just I just stopped. Have you, have you read about Jimi Hendrix? Because when you define describe some of those things it sounds no, like the life of Jimi hendrix you know how he ended up he was the most talented guitarist ever yeah and you know how he ended up drugs and all these things and 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 he never had the good fortune like you of coming to a, a sense of self-realization or self-awareness yeah but from what you are telling me there was some kind of uh, quote-unquote jesus moment yeah when you said i have to snap out of this tell us about that when you, you snapped out of it and and got back to the, the, the right path well um 
I was I was hell bent at finding like a, a, a lifetime partner. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I had just gotten. You mean a wife? N- uh, yeah, something like that. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. You know, so mm. I had gotten this epiphany of of like being able to see beyond the veil. You know, beyond what we can see with our eyes. Mm. You know, it, it would be crazy if I d- describe it. But when when that happened, I started. I drive. I drive to Okasane on my own. You know, I had, I had just I, I bought this car just for that. Mm. You know, this fast car, golf car. But it ended, I ended up in a car accident, and mm. then I was sitting alone. I couldn't mm. move. You know, you mean in a hospital bed? No, at home. No, in a in a hotel room. Oh, yeah. And all of these. I mean, things after the car accident, you yeah, go to the, yeah okay. to the hotel room to just try to get high. Maybe I'll overdose, you know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. But I just got so tired. Mm. I just got so tired. And then my mom came through. She got me. She got, she came to She told me, come home. I didn't want to go home. Mm. I, I couldn't go home because. Yeah, of the shame. Were you well, embarrassed? Shame, shame as well. Well, yeah. Well, I wasn't really embarrassed. I, 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 I was tired. Mm. I was tired. of. I, I didn't want to go. Did I, you like, eventually go? Pardon? Did you eventually go to... Well, I mean, I ran out of the money. I, I had to go home, mm. you know? And I think the... I still have humility, so it wasn't a thing. For me, even the neighbors, I, I didn't... I, I'm not really bothered about whether people mm. laugh at me, whether I have mm. money or don't. Uh, but, Helen, the thing that, that, that keeps me going is the fact that when I got to see that there's more to life than there is, like, I got so scared mm. because I, I understood that I'm not just a physical body, but I am an embodiment of an experience of a soul that is that is so. You're like a spiritual being. Yeah, you Mm. know, Mm. uh, with a soul so bigger, bigger than who, who sometimes as a human being I I misrepresent in Mm. in stupid ways, you know. But telling me when I got when Mm. I got that epiphany, I started to work on myself, and change can take years, mm. because I'm working, I'm working against, you know, physical, physical neuron connections that I'm trying to re, 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 redirect, redirect, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, mm-hmm. through different areas where I go, through different energy exchanges, like I say, I don't, I'm, you might find me, g- having gone back to my past here and there, mm. but trust me, every day, mm. I try to I try to keep it moving. I try mm. to I try to go to where I've never been. Yeah. You know. So so was there a time when you were back home? Are you now back? Well, I'm still at home. I'm, okay. I'm 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 still trying to get myself. You know, because my my my, my cause is, is is definitely great. You know, mm-hmm. and it it really needs perfect alignment and me having a flow and an understanding of mm. a schedule that I can that I can find peace and and healthy addiction in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the awards. You've won quite a few international and local awards. Can you share some of that? Well, experience? I don't. Ha- I'm not aware of. I'm not aware of international ones, but or local uh, ones, okay. I- I- international love. Yeah, that, yeah, that's an award as well. By okay, the way. okay, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I've I've won quite quite a number of awards here at home. You know, mm. Mm. but you know, what are they? Well, I've I have uh, w- w- with Kirin Korong. You know. I mean, from Gilekete time, you know, uh, we, we, we had best hip hop, uh, best male artist, and then Yarna uh, FM, we have quite a number. Mm. 2015. Uh, we, we but I thought you were nominated abroad as well in South Africa. Well, oh, nah. Man. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Well, that must be William. No, okay. That's William. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but we have quite a number of awards. I don't remember my awards. Because, you know, most of these awards that I won, I, I won them during a phase in my life where I was winning because I know how to win. Mm. But now I'm like, I'm, I want to be a person who, 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 who speaks of, just because you got power doesn't mean mm. you can just use it anyhow. You yes. know? Because some people are looking at you, more especially kids, like, kids mm. like, I got to be the help that mm. nobody could give me yeah. you know in the most in the most original version of itself in my in my in, in my in my own experience yeah. of this lifetime okay let's talk about covid and um, how i see some of artists during covid redirecting their energies 
Um, I think Barry Hart is now into fashion. Yes. Uh, you know, Karo uh, Marantau is also has got a clothing label. Yes. And quite a number of musicians have redirected them themselves to other courses. Is this something that has crossed your mind uh, that you you're contemplating, or are you diversifying in any way yourself? Well, um, like I take my my, my alignment very. It's pivot. It's pivotal. It's it's like the basis of everything like i mm. need to be to be in good in a good condition to be able to be functional to to better serve or better operate because there's no use in me being able to make so much money and the person who is making the money isn't even you know in a in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a proper mental space to to be able to even see the gifts of the world mm. you know or the gifts of god as to how they move just because maybe i have grace and i can i can probably squeeze out whatever whatever i can squeeze out of it doesn't necessarily mean i should be squeezing even at times when the actual grace should be towards me healing because it's all an energy at the end of the day you know yeah yeah, yeah. so you think people should you, you don't want to even talk about diversifying it's not well it is it is i yeah. mean you know everything is you plan everything mm. when you said it Mm. What you see happening is not something that happens because somebody started to do what you see happening. Mm. What you see happening is Laduma, mm. or one. Mm. That's but everything basically happens when mm. you're drawing the the plan. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm also want us to touch on the issues of mental health because I think yes. I've seen you and uh, Bissau Haubaku and a yeah. few others talking about that issue. What is your interest in the area, and how have you? been affected by by the issue of mental health Wha or what is your your involvement in it i've seen you on social media uh, while bisa <laughs> was talking about it. well mental health is 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 like basically i think it's recalibrating your 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 yourself to be able to deal with the reality of the world without having been triggered to filter your mm. reality through the use of um, either substances. The thing. It's distracting you. Somebody's calling you repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You're talking yeah. to your people. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. I was in the way. Uh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what 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 I was saying was, um, you know, uh, the mental health issue is basically being able to cope with life as raw as it is. Mm. Because the reason why we engage in a lot of in a lot of in a lot of um, this and that to try to make ourselves feel better is because we are incapable of dealing with our emotions. Mm. Now, if we can understand that what we feel and what is are two different entities, I think people can have uh, a basis of knowing where to start working from. Mm. Because if we can understand that our emotions are not basically who we are, because I can feel this way in the moment mm. and feel a different way mm. the next moment. So if we can be patient enough to allow ourselves to go through the motions, mm. I think we can become better individuals. And it goes a long way in connection with our mental space because we m most of the time use our emotions as opposed to the airspace, mm. the, 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 the cerebral part of things mm. where we use our, our the frontal lobe mm. to actually make decisions. Yeah, the frontal lobe, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, well, so most of the time, the more and more we entertain suggestions, we tell our that part of our brain becomes smaller than it should normally be because bigger. Because it's not being used. Because it's not being used. Mm. We're always waiting for people to help us make our decisions, decisions that impact most of our lives. Mm. And then what happens is when things don't go according to how we, we thought we are bypassing the 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 responsibility of making decisions, we point a finger at people and say, you mm. betrayed me. Yeah. Okay. Um, should artists integrate business into their music like you have, and um, what do you think of that? Bringing, treating the, the music as as a business. Basically, yeah. I think as a, as an artist, artists need to actually be the pinnacle of of of, of reference in as far as be being an all round person. Because I feel we're all capable of feminine and masculine energy and feminine energy is the aspect that we use to create you know mm. it's where th that creative part you know we use for creation and masculine energy is that part of business mm. you know it's it, it, a lot of us find ourselves 
having to love to be addicted to the sitting down part of of thinking things through mm -hmm. thinking and you know you have those people who would say this person is so brilliant like if they could just execute i think it's also the thing that i'm having to deal with the transition of being able to balance my feminine energy with my masculine energy turning off the, the unnecessary bits and petty issues and doing what needs to be done. I'm not saying do away with what I feel because if I can embrace my feminine and my masculine energy, I'll be able to cry mm -hmm. when I need to cry and also be balanced enough to go to war when, okay. when need be. So the creative side is feminine, yeah. the business side is masculine. Yes. How did they work that out? Well, I mean, Mars is, is, is masculine energy and yeah. Venus is feminine energy, the okay. love aspect. Okay. So it's like black and white, so above and so below. Mm. So if you can understand these things like love, hate, you know, wow. that's how I, I kind of like, mm. you know. And um, on the business side, uh, what, what, what current projects are you working on the, on the music business side? Any new albums on the way? Is anything sort of cooking at the moment? Yeah, well, I've been working like every time I drop a project, I'd usually be wor I'd usually be working on a new project, mm -hmm. you know. So by the time that uh, I'm about to drop an album, it's just like I'm um, I'm just putting in all of this this practice that I've been that I've been doing across the years into one final product and one final conclusion that's that's digestible and you know like you say Kirin Korong. Mm. Kirin Korong is like about seventeen songs mm. into one song. Mm. You know, just one line of, out of out of one song. Mm. One line out of one song. Mm. Because you But know, it all blends together. And then it blends it's my favorite. <laughs> but yeah, but it it's like a, an amount of work. Mm. It, like it's a lot of work. Like you, you go into the studio. It's like running every day, running every day, running every day, mm. running every day. You know, you always target like twenty seconds. Mm. And then on the D Day or, 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 or on that fateful eventful day, it's like ten seconds. Mm. You know. And the reason I'm asking you of your projects because just once I was knocking off and I was driving down the the main freeway. I saw cars avoiding you. You are right in the middle of the street, and you had a cameraman shooting you. And I, I said, "Oh, you were there!" Oh, yeah, yeah, I was driving past, and I was wondering what were you up to. Tell us about that. Is it some project you worked on? What was going on? Were you shooting a music video? I'm not sure what was going yeah, on, but I was but shooting. I could see traffic was avoiding you. <laughs> yeah, I was shooting a, a, a young music video. Yeah, but what I wanted to portray, you know, when what. what, what even in my music, as I, as I, as I, as I, like I'm, I'm, I'm executing what I do. I like people to see the, the behind, behind the scenes of, of just how, the where there's process. a will, yeah, where there's a will, like you know. And when you're looking at it, you might think this guy has a big team behind him. Mm. But the virtue of it all is to understand that people are capable of anything they set their minds into. Mm. And I like setting my mind in, in as in, in as far as, you know, I might be referred to as a crazy and chaotic character. At the at the at the bottom of it all, at the new trial of it all. I wonder who's referring to you as such. Well I mean there are people who who, who, who do that who, yeah. who do that. And mm. you know it's just a, a I'm communicating with them to I think they should refer you as to you as a creative genius, which you are. <laughs> I mean creative genius is like Michael Jackson, yeah. Prince and all these other there's uh, I mentioned Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. We're not the straight and narrow guys. I mean guys who have been burdened with creative uh, a weight of creative energy sometimes don't behave like the average Joe. So we should understand that as a community, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, true that. Mm -hmm. And I think you know for we might call it creativity in some sense, but it's all trauma. But the reason it's why it's also trauma. Yeah, mm. the reason why well, trauma, like the most traumatized people, eventually develop a gift. Mm. Uh, look for anybody who's traumatized; they develop a gift. Mm. So anybody who who might feel like they don't have a talent, they should be they should be glad because it's uh, I it's it's like an opportunity cost. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's either you're going to be balanced in the beginning, and literally be able to function in the world mm. or you're going to have trauma and you're going to be vested with a talent that is usually bigger than yourself that you need to tame mm. when you can understand that no i'm, f I'm following you. you you know so mm. if you can always kind of like understand that it's always a constant mm. battle of balancing scales yeah because you absorb you absorb you, mm. you know for you to to be able to to narrate a situation so well to a point that it means mm. so much to a person without having gone through it it must take some level of mm -hmm. of, 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 of lunaticness <laughs> yeah. In it. yeah 
yeah yeah all right um there's some young you know entrepreneurial musicians out there listening to you what would you say are the key traits uh, ingredients for success if if especially in terms of longevity of success long term success what do you think are the key elements that they need to have the most fundamental one that i overlooked when i started um is the relationships mm. understand the relationships that you have because sometimes we like hanging with people we like because we feel like they give us the inspiration but we need to be our own source of inspiration and the relationships that we have should not be relationships that are enabling we need relationships that can put us accountable of our actions within what we're trying to achieve and we need to build relationships that are of the same ambition that we're trying to 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 set out to get to you know what i'm saying mm. uh now i know better you know mm. the people who are who they are right now did not start out because they had people who 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 were like oh you want to you want to do things your way mm. go right mm. go, go, go right ahead and do that mm. you need people who can say yo we have to do this and that you know mm. what i'm saying i've i've involved my time and my effort in this because i have ambition that if we can collaborate on working together we can get somewhere together mm. you know what i'm saying so it's my time so if we're going to be in a relationship you got to you got to hold your end yeah. end of the bargain you know what i'm saying so you're the artist i'm the manager you're going to listen to me you know what i'm saying and artists need to also understand that they need to not want to fill up a void with fame because mm. it's it's as good as a drug mm. you know because i've seen a lot of artists become so egotistical mm. and kind of like you know i i my problem is not ego mm. you know my problem is actually rising to the table and and calling you know like kind of like put we humili- my 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 ego is is reversed you mm. know it's too much humility mm. you cannot function if you're too too humble mm. you know so i had to you need a certain a, amount of aggression a, a, a certain amount of aggression like i said operating too much out of my feminine side mm. you know so i need to involve more of my masculine side mm-hmm. or which usually would be rage mm-hmm. you know and i d- i didn't know how to how to handle it because it just mm-hmm. turned me into a monster yeah so talking about traits i mean i hear yeah. you saying the first one relationships is relationships and 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 make sure that you have people who can who can hold you say no hold you accountable yeah. number two uh number two you need to uh overlook the fame part of it mm-hmm. if you can overlook fame for a certain amount of amount of time you you reach a threshold of of a level of balance of being able to understand that it's a part of you mm. and not something that decorates you okay you know? yeah okay as we as we come to the end of our time together i'm yes. really keen to know what we can expect uh, if looking even 5 10 20 years uh, down the line from brand you know at the or brand ATI yeah. what what can you expect from you as a brand 5 10 years down the line even 20 years well basically i think you know uh i believe i can be so many things and i think my my hippity hoppity uh, chapter of my journey is about to come to a closure this the musical aspect of it and i think maybe explain hippity hoppity like you know uh we 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 move through stages right like i've i've been an artist i'm an artist forever right mm, mm. like i've been an artist in the musical aspect of it mm. you know in the musical aspect of art mm. but now it's coming to a point where i need to take what i've gathered i mean we don't want many jimi hendrixes right yeah yeah <laughs> so we need we need we need people that can now say you know i've been through this journey mm. and i understand it here's Here's what I've been through. See 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 if you can pick up something mm. from what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Be it through movies, you know, that could even be moving to movies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because I have a mind like that, you know. Mm. I'd like to, you know, I'd really like one day to 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 make a movie about my life. It's it's, it's quite should, peculiar. Then you should you should read it more about Will Smith because he he moved from uh, being one of the successful hip hop artists and became a successful, you know, actor. Is that what you want and and now he is a producer and a director. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'd like to do because mm. you know, you want change because mm. sometimes the environment like I think this night life of going out at night environment is not my type of scene. It's not mm. my cup of tea. Not But anymore. Not anymore, you mm. know. It Even used to be. my energy is just it's too much for it. Mm. You know, it's it's too authentic for that life. Mm. I want 
uh, it's more towards moving towards the lines of where I could narrate mm. uh, and, and, and coach. And so, so are you mm-hmm. likely to then create a studio where you young artists are under you and also, you know, even um, have a, I don't know, movie producers? I, I'm trying to imagine the, pic, the, 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 the future that you're contemplating so we understand. Well, something like that. I have that option of also doing that. Oh, well, the one that I, that I keep daring to become is just turn into a Buddha, just disappear from the face of the earth and probably go to Taiwan and just meditate for the rest of my life. Mm. That, that's one thing that I... I it's uh, another option that you're considering. Yeah. Basically, then, I just want to But then the world will be deprived of all this ex- talent and skill. It won't be. It won't be deprived because that's, like, that's one thing that I, that I actually learned. You cannot solve people's problem by, mm. by, by, by being controlled by how much they're attached mm. to you, you know? Like, l- we all have freedom. Like, you can decide to switch off your phone. I'm walking away, mm. you know? Okay, recently we lost a very prominent artist. Yeah. I don't know whether you know him. Drummer Boy. Yeah, um, that experience, uh, do you have anything to, any lessons that you say we can draw from that whole sad scenario where he lost his life? Yes, um, we need to understand uh, like coping, coping mechanisms, and uh, uh, it was it was it was all over the news o- of what his apparent cause of death was. Mm-hmm. But I look at it and I'm like, it's as good as you know, ATI who maybe copes with drugs because he basically coped maybe with sex, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, some people cope with with food, mm-hmm. some people cope with. With, with going to church, mm. some people cope with gossip, some people cope in so many ways. And like I said, it calls for, for a recalibration and a 360 degree reassessment of how we cope with ourselves. Because, you know, you can do anything in this world. We can conquer, shift mountains, build uh, houses on moons. But the only thing we're afraid to do is look at ourselves and, and actually live with our mm. void. Mm. Do you feel that if you had reached him sooner, you could have, you know, given him this wisdom? Well, you, you, you can, you know, I, even the people that I've been involved with, I give them this wisdom, but they look at me like I'm out of my, you know, they, they, they like the, 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 the end result of what my, of, 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 of the information I consume, mm. you know. But that aspect of, of, of having to sit down and that boring part of, of having those real, truthful yeah, conversations the, the is something real work that a lot of people yeah. aren't ready for mm. and i couldn't say that to, uh, like had i reached out to drama boy and tried to have this conversation with him it wouldn't have worked because it's something that one has to do from the inside mm-hmm. I want. Mm. and usually what we give people is what is a resemblance or a speck of what it is that is inside of us mm. I want. and i don't believe i would have made any difference but the only difference that would have happened would have been him having to decide to want to change and actually go out there and look for the relevant information that mm. one needs to so make a change can only yeah. come from within yeah. that, that's what you're saying basically from yeah. within but and all we can do is to keep you know encouraging people to change but until yes. they decide for, for example, themselves yeah for example even myself like my 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 journey with drugs like i decided in 2018 i went to rehab in south africa mm. I was in South Africa and I was like, yeah, I'm in rehab, mm-hmm. I'm good, you know, and I'm not even looking at the fact that I'm not trying to really quit drugs, mm. you know, I just wanted a vacation, you know, probably wanted to detox, but I, I wasn't ready to, to quit drugs because when I, 30 minutes into the country from rehab, I was right back where, 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 you started. where I started, you know, mm. I had, I, I, I had powder in my, in my, in, 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 in my hand again, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I was back at it again. Mm. And I was like, I'm never going to change until, until I had that, that life changing moment that mm. of, 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 of the world beyond, yeah, mm, mm, mm. of the world beyond this one, you know? Mm, mm. So do you think that um, you've now left those things for good? Well, yeah, and, I, I and do And you're believe. completely a changed person. Yes, because 
I am starting to 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 experience bits and pieces of that change physically. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it all started mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that I have to tell myself every day. Okay. I have to I have to incorporate every day into my mind. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. And it's 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 difficult. Mm. It's not comfortable. It's mm. just so uncomfortable. It's like it's it's it, it But it, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's mm. worth it because you know I find myself, t I have a lot of energy. Mm. When I'm just seated and I have a lot of energy, I find myself thinking about the drugs. Mm. You know, I, I, because the drugs kind of like take away my energy. Mm. With me, they work the opposite. Some people, they give them energy. So, but wha wha what they do to me, they mm. take away my energy. And I become mum. I, mm. just, I just become quiet. You, you, you become like a uh, zombie. Yeah. Uh, I uh. become a zombie. Mm. I, being a zombie is addictive, like physically. Mm. But... It's, it's 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 emotionally and mentally taxing. Mm. Yeah, to just okay. let the world fly. But I think it's a thing of 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 like I said, healing, to to feel enough. Mm. You know, because we just want more, 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 more. You know, if it's a good time, I want more, more, more. Mm. You know, I can't just be content with. I feel good. Mm. It's okay. I woke up today. Okay. Quite a lot has happened for me. Well. And one question I want to ask you is who's who's your biggest inspiration or who are your heroes? Can you share um, some of those and tell us why? Well, Lucky Dube. Mm -hmm. Lucky Dube is, 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 is my... Because I met him when I was a kid and I didn't know what he did. Well, I, I, I knew him. I didn't know it was him who was asking me for water. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, um, Yeah, in Botswana. You met me in Botswana. Yeah, he was at MCE in Molepolule. Mm. So, you know, they he, they came with his tour bus. He had just dropped his album, Aces, you know. Mm. And Aces Aces means to ace something, to, to mm. be splendid at it. To be splendid at it. Mm. To be splendid at it. Yeah, <laughs> splendid at it. Yeah. yeah, we got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I met him, and then he was asking for, for a tap of water. And I was like, hey, mm. And then, you know, he went to go drink, and then he comes back and he said, Naughty boy, you know. Mm. And then, like, two years down the line, I actually remember, that's like you do, babe. Mm. I actually met like you do, babe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And ever since that day, I was like, how humble of him to just be who he is and mm. not one to... I mean, I've, I've met a lot of people. And to die so tragically, you know, as well. So yeah. Sad, you know. I mean, I don't think about that part, but I think about the mm. most amazing part. Like, mm. for him to be so humble to come in. Mm. Because I've met other artists who, who have come and I've noticed who they are and just wanting to be noticed. And mm. I, I, I felt like it's unnecessary, you okay. know. Anybody else apart from Mr. Mandela? I, I, okay. I also met Mandela when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, in 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 Surua, mm. they had come to TTC. I don't know if you remember the time Mandela came to TTC. Yeah, I remember the time he came to Botswana. Yeah. Uh, well, and then yeah, I, he I got to greet Mandela. You know, he greeted me and I was like, Hey, where am Mandela? Mm. You know, <laughs> and how did he respond? Well, I mean, he left and they, they walked, <laughs> walked on <all> by. <laughs> Okay, and I, I don't know. I also keep thinking I've seen the Queen, but I, you know, in your dreams. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I think the Queen in the, the spirit. No, or? just here. Okay, the, which it, Queen? The Queen, queen of the England. Queen. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But he I came to Botswana in 1979 when Cesar Zakama was still alive. But that's the thing. Mm. In 1979, and I was in what? I was born in 1989, mm. and I, I, I felt like I was there when 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 when, when she he was there. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, oh, okay. It's all spiritual. It's, it's, it's spiritual and it also shows a very vivid imagination. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what, what, uh, what question would you like to ask me as we come to the close of our time together? How do you stay composed? Well, I think it helps to meet people like you who inspire me and uh, talented musicians like you and, and difference makers. And uh, through this show, I meet a lot of them. But other than that, it's through uh, personal development, uh, which is really reading. I mean, I'm reading a book. That's why I was asking about Will Smith. I'm reading his book. I picked it up last week, and I'm about to finish it. And it's this thick. So I enjoy absorbing huge quantities of information and keeping myself centered. And I'm fortunate enough to have uh, kids uh, like him who help me out. Is he's, it? He's, he's teaching himself psychology. Oh, okay. So I'm able oh. to 
to discuss deep, deep matters with, with him and as one who's assisted me in the business. But then I also have a, a team which is very, very supportive around me. You've met Lefa, isn't it? Yeah, I met Lefa. Yeah, those, those guys are dynamite. I'm very, I'm very lucky to have a, a good team. You haven't met Khape, he's walking across. But once you meet him, you'll understand why, why I'm so excited. I, I tap dance to work every morning. You tap dance? Yeah, to work. You know, you know mentally. I'm, I'm enjoying yeah. go, coming to work, if you know the expression. So, so that's, that's it. And then, of course, I shouldn't forget my religious faith okay. to keep God first. Oh, yeah. To remind myself constantly, it doesn't matter how successful I am, remember that I'm nothing. I'm, I'm, it's by His grace. Same, same way when things go south, you know, I should not get too obsessed with things going south because it's up to Him. I'm here by His grace. So, so are you always like this? Chilled? Yeah. Cool? Uh -huh. I hope so. You don't have another side to you that... Everybody has a dark side, but I mean, uh, we try so to suppress it. So how you balance that? Yeah, the, the, I mean, you mentioned the Venus and the... Yeah. The Mars, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you, you, if you keep yourself occupied and you have uh, your values, which you tick and you, you stick to, you avoid the dark side. But the dark side is always lurking. It's always there. It's so just want yeah, it to it come is, out. Yeah. So you have to find a way of just keeping it at bay. So that's what we do. What about pleasure seeking? Like, how do you control... That, yeah. that raging, I, wa I wanna, woof. You, I mean, you try and, 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 and look at the consequences. As I said, you are guided by your values. Yeah. And I think this conversation we should have off camera because I can go into details about this. Yeah. All right. At the sound, look at that camera and uh, talk to that individual, whoever has been listening, including your own uh, viewers or listeners who are, who are watching you. Leave them with something inspirational, something you know, a take home, as it were, from this discussion we've had. Well, basically, all I'd like um, uh, want to know is that, you know, there's never really a method to uh, finding a method that you can operate with. But like I said, it doesn't matter how it looks or whatever it might be. But like I think Uncle Mohobi said, the, con the consequences and the integrity and the principles of why we do things, you know what I'm saying? Because... Uh, we live in a world that is so infested with social media and social media has taken so much of us from actually having life experiences you know you'd rather go go on your phone to play a game of walking through a park as opposed to actually going to the park and interacting with nature and i think most of our balance is in nature and nature can always teach us to know how much to take and how much to leave. I think it also applies to a lot of things in our lives, be it the dark side lurking, the pleasure seeking, the insatiable ones, and this and that. So all I can say is do it for the right reasons, whatever you're trying to achieve. Okay. Basically. You tell them how they can um, follow you or reach you mm -hmm. or, you know, on social media and elsewhere if they want to carry on with this conversation or to take advantage of your your offerings and your music. Basically, y'all can get a hold of us at batabame.rt3 at gmail.com. On Facebook, you can follow our page, a.t.r, open bracket, batabame, close bracket. And then on um, um, Instagram is likete underscore plain underscore plain. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. We I'm really humble. Appreciate Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's, been, a, it's been an hour. It, it, <laughs> it went like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Thank you so much. Okay. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. Path.